about people back in Fiji given what's happening there at the moment? Uh, thank you. Uh, for the boys, it's been a lot because uh, we know uh, we've been in a tough time, our family back at home. So it's a, it's a really important game for us. Uh, so we remind us of a family back at home. Does that inspire you to want even more than normal to, to put on a performance you and they would be proud of? We, ne we didn't stop think about our family. Uh, especially when I, when I stay in our rooms, everyone understand uh, why we're here. So uh, what happened in Fiji, it's, uh, it's happened, but we need to focus on this one. With, with, with the COVID situation as a whole, what, what challenges is that put in place in terms of is preparing for this test? I think it's... Um a lot of the players have come from Europe, so the managed isolation was a challenge in itself. And we'd already been through COVID in November, so which had brought the team together because um, we're in a it wasn't a pleasant place to be. And so we went through the process. And obviously, the disappointing thing is not be, not being able to get three players out of Australia with the Trans Tasman bubble being blocked. So um, and because these boys had already been through a bit of difficulty back in November, they sort of they embrace it. They understand that it's never going to be perfect. This time, the world's not the same as it was a couple of years ago. So it's about adapting, and these boys do that really well. And I think with what's happening in Fiji, their attention to detail has been outstanding coming into this game. Real focus, and, and they want to put in a performance, um, a decent performance. So you'll see some true uh, Fijian grit, some flair, and real determination tomorrow. How difficult is that situation with Australia? Maybe I don't think you've got a specialist half that would be. No, so we had a trial, we had, the, we had to pass the ball quickly off the deck and left foot, right foot kick, so we, we picked Setter, who's, um, who everybody knows and trusts, he's been in the team for a long time, so uh, he, he will adapt, uh, and it may be that people will step in um, at certain times. The game's not going to be perfect, um, even though we're under a great stadium and conditions will be, will be great, but it's just going to be being able to Think quickly on your feet and adapt, and, and if we have to, if somebody else plays halfback, somebody else will play halfback. And that, that's what these boys are generating uh, amongst themselves, is that desire to do well as a team and back each other. So it's it's, it's good to be part of. Well, it was, um, it was, there were two different groups, a group that came from Fiji and a group that came from Europe, and they were uh, obviously quarantined, there was a day apart, uh, from the time that they started and got out uh, and we were able to train in small groups after uh, day 10 and then after, after the test. So it's only really been, we've got three players out of MIQ on Wednesday. Two of them, are, one starting and the other one's on the bench. So we've only just really got through, how's everything, how's your family and are you great? And then we've got a test match in front of you. So there have you know, been a lot of conversations, a lot of uh, around how we want what we want to do in the paddock and, and it's, um, like I said to you, it's just about rolling your sleeves up, getting the job done and putting in a decent performance and these boys have been open-minded about it and, and have got on with it. Given the challenges that you faced in last week, has there any sense of trepidation about this test? There's, there's more excitement than anything else and I think we've been through the reasons why. Um, so there'll be, it'll be what it'll be. Um, we can't change, we can't get those players in. We, It'll be 80 minutes tomorrow and these boys will put their hands up and do the best they can. And whatever happens, there'll be something positive from it to, to move on, to move forward on with. Exactly that. It, it was just it's something that was missing in the, in the program. For people on the island to create up a create a, um, a professional environment, uh, a structure on the island, or being able to play against good teams, and, and playing against good teams will challenge you and make you better. And so the pathways, the opportunities will be there, but also to be able to play against good teams will help grow players. Uh, and so it's it's very exciting. At the moment it's a lot of work's been done in, in the background, and we've we'll just let them do that, and we'll just focus on the game.
what have Ben and Namali said about playing under the roof and what's it what are you expecting in, in terms of those conditions? Uh, well, it was the first uh, first hand experience today, so it was um, it's fast, really fast. So I think we'll have to they might have to ask for water breaks every so often, but um, now you seem to be able to kick the ball where you want to kick it. There's not a lot of wind. Uh, uh, it'll be, I think it suits us, uh, and we're just going to hang in for the, for the whole 80 minutes. Uh, the three players in Aussie, is this your strongest team you can see? There are, there are other players. Um, Semi Radala has gone to gone to sevens. There's there's a lot of good players, uh, that are younger players coming through that were involved in the sevens program. This is this is a team that um, that we selected, and we feel it's a, a strong team. Um, and like the, like I say, we'll assess the performance after the 80 minutes and. And we've got another game a week a week later, so it's it's all good. Tom, in the situation with some of the players had to pay for the IQ, have you guys had to do that at all? Look, we're we're leaving all that all that those sensitive subjects around eligibility and MIQ. We just want to play the game. Really, just looking forward to that. Does um, Jason Bryan um, help give you any intel? <laughs> with regard to. Uh, Jason's it's a different group and um, so he's he's and he's a great coach um, so is Gibbo and we've got Glenn there as well so a great coaching group and they're all helping and um, giving learnings to players uh, there may be a, a couple of you know a couple of bit of inside knowledge and Sam Whitelock's not playing unfortunately because we've done a bit of work on him <laughs> but uh, no no and all jokes aside he's he's, he's a professional and He's uh, he's bringing these bringing these players on. Marty Sebi, Reese during the week said <coughs> that um, him and the other two players in the All Blacks team with Fiji and Heritage think they uh, they might have a bit of a target on them for some big tackles. Um, are you looking forward to to showing them and some of the other players what you guys are capable of with uh, some big Fijian tackles? <laughs> uh, it's a rugby uh, competition, so. We have to, uh, we're going to ready uh, every time because we play against our opponent. We have our brothers there, Fijians, so we try to play our rugby. We focus on our rugby. Yeah. What does it mean for you to play the All Blacks um, you know, on their home soil? Uh, it's mean a lot for everyone, especially me. It's the first time to play against All Blacks. It's a mighty team, it's the best in the world. It's a big challenge for us, everyone, especially the young boys. They, uh, some of them, they just play their own, uh, their first cap. So it's going to be a big challenge for everyone. Is it a shame it only you know, it's taken 10 years? I mean, when you become a, an international player, is that, I guess, the one team you want to test yourself against more than any other? Uh, we've been glad to, uh, to invite to play against All Blacks. So we can't say anything about the uh, past. So we focus on this one tomorrow.